He is just an extraordinary artist. Mm-hmm. I mean, as a technical filmmaker, uh, on the level of craft, you look at a movie like The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant, the way he films this one set is awe-inspiring. Fassbinder, his films are usually an extension of what's going on in his life and how he has to express himself. Well, for example, there are many times when Petra von Kant will be sort of prattling on Mm -hmm. and his camera will hone in on Marlene, the servant, whether she's typing at her typewriter or just looking mournfully on in the background. And that's something you wouldn't get in a stage play, Mm -hmm. this sort of editorializing. One of the best things about Fassbinder is that while the thematic stuff is the same, stylistically, he's always experimenting and trying mm-hmm. to do new stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you mentioned, uh, The Bitter Tears. It was based on a stage play, and the way that he shoots it, it is stagey in the sense that it takes place in one location, mm-hmm. but the way the camera actually delineates what's happening and what's going on and power dynamics, it makes it. Petra von Kant, you know, she's wearing all these wigs, she's wearing all these costumes. Very symbolically she's surrounded by mannequins Mm -hmm. that have various articles of clothing on them as if to suggest to you these are you know various personae that she could be wearing and what even is the real Petra von Kant but the way that he arranges these people in rooms you know depending on who's in the foreground who's in the middle ground who's in the background that will tell you a lot about what the power dynamic is Mm -hmm. but Petra von Kant I think is a really good one to start with because while it is long it is contained and you get a purity to his characters Mm -hmm. and while it does end on a downer It ends on a downer that, like, says a lot about the rest of the movie. Oftentimes, his camera will be uh, a long shot with somebody or maybe one or two people framed from a distance, like in the middle of the shot, as if to emphasize their isolation. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, his compositions and his camera work are very heavily symbolic. 